Are you a good sport? Mm, my case is oh, these guys did this for uh for like Street Fighter Six. I remember this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hold, hold on a second. What's the best remake in gaming history? Remake? Uh, FF7 remake. This. Why did you want to Good change certain story details with Final Fantasy VII Remake series? Do these changes make this a multiverse story? Ah ha 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 ha! What's the best multiverse piece of media? Spider-Man What was that thing in Remake that kept trying to keep the story elements the same called? Whisper. What were the things in the Final Fantasy VII Remake that kept trying to keep the story the same? <laughs> what does it mean now that the whispers are gone? Um, what, what, what's the, uh, what, what was the other term I liked? Plot ghost is the funny, is the funny term. Uh, there was another one that they were called that I thought was pretty, pretty goddamn funny. Uh, what? Chat's gonna tell me what it is. Time Janies, that's it. <laughs> the Time Janies are after us, bro. Oh no, they're back. They're all over the place. Does it at least mean that catching a chocobo is easier this time around? Are all chocobos the same in Rebirth? What kinds of abilities can chocobos have? Fly, climb, swim through oceans. Cool. Cool. Do all the chocobos smell the same? Do they smell pretty bad? How faithfully does the story of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth follow the original? Oh, 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 oh. loaded question. How is Zack still around? Oh, loaded question. Oh, wow. Even I like it how even Hamaguchi is like, well, shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to tell you? That's gr I love it. I love it. I love it that even the devs are like, sorry, man, <laughs> buy the game. <laughs> That's good. That's good that this is this is still a mystery all the way to like four years later. How does Zach being around affect Cloud? Oh, shit. Why isn't Crisis Core Reunion part of the Final Fantasy VII Remake canon? Yeah, that's a good point. Right? This is Back to the Future 2 shit. I had to think about that for a second. I was like, wait, what? Oh, no, he's right. Because we've deviated now. Doc Brown, Back to the Future 2, Biff timeline shit. It happened, but now we're like split. Now there's like the FF7 remake timeline doesn't have that necessarily be canon to other shit. We actually do not have all of this information yet. Yeah, remake is a unique world distinct from the other titles because it comes after the other titles. Yeah, it's very true. Do you think people would still benefit from playing Crisis Core Reunion in order to learn more about Zack? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's something that we also asked too, why the heck are they remaking Crisis Core? They're quite literally taking out a huge amount of the initiative of original FF7 story. Why are we essentially spoiling Zack's story and its eventual reveal in OG7? That's confusing, but I don't think it's unmerited. I think they know that. Like, they absolutely know that, much less they're re-releasing Advent Children. There's a reason they want us to know this, you know? There's a reason they want us to actually have this information about these characters. Of course. There's a purpose. You ever just listen to Final Fantasy music? Yes, of course. What's the best Final Fantasy soundtrack? Is it to know Zack's character? Well, to know Zack's character is a massive spoiler for original FF7. It literally spoils the last quarter of the game huge reveal by knowing who Zack is. And also, to be honest, is, is an element of the game that is completely hidden to the player in terms of its actual backstory, unless you go on like crazy side quest shit.
and then you find out the the story. It's spoilers for a 20 year old game it is, but in the perspective of like knowing the thing from the previous game, well, are we setting up for the same plot twist in this? That plot twist doesn't work anymore because we know now. We know how this works. How does the remake series being split across multiple games affect the overall experience? The biggest merit is for us to be able to stay loyal and really depict the very expansive world of FF7. Yeah, I mean, even Nomura was saying that from the first time, that they're like, we don't want to cut anything. We want to make sure we can produce enough games where we do not have to remove stuff to compromise it and like, just make it release now, you know? What is the best direct sequel in Final Fantasy history? Now, a lot of people say really good things about 13.2. It kind of got a bad rep because 13.1 got a bad rep, but the majority of people that actually played it and reviewed it say that 13.2 is super good. It's like, whoa, no, this game's fun as shit. Is that 13.3? My mistake. <laughs> My mistake. Final Fantasy XIII Did Final Fantasy VII Rebirth really need to be on multiple discs, or did you just do that for nostalgia? Were there any other games? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Could they have fit it onto one disc? Probably. But they spent all this extra money producing a second disc just because, like, it will create buzz. And it did. Games in the Final Fantasy series that the team considered to remake before settling on VII? <laughs> Do you think we'll ever get Final Fantasy X-3? <laughs> Can you do your best Titus laugh? <laughs> I, can, I can bring it up if we want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the silliest moment in Final Fantasy history? Final Fantasy What's your favorite moment from the original Final Fantasy VII? What was your favorite moment in Final Fantasy VII Remake? When the Hell House comes out? <laughs> Yeah, I think the Hell House situation is possibly like one of the, already the game seems relatively high quality, but the Hell House moment is this sort of reaffirmation that like, oh, the devs are aware. <laughs> oh shit, no, they get it. They actually get it. People said for years after FF7 was announced of it being remade, where they're like, bro, how the hell do you remake a game like this that has characters, that has enemies that look like that? And it's literally a house with fucking legs. Like, how the hell are we supposed to remake this shit nowadays? That's impossible. It's stuff like that, right? What is going to be the Hell House moment in FF7 Rebirth? He's right here. This motherfucker. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> What the fuck is that? What six-year-old made this character, huh? How does Red 13 ride a chocobo? Will we see Red 13 trying to stand on two legs again? Does anyone in the party comment how weird it is that he tries to ride chocobos and stand on two legs? It would only be weird if you addressed it. That's what I like about the fact that they did this stuff. It's only odd if you address it. Like, you can you can make a joke about it here and there, but if it's just completely normal for the character to do that stuff, but, like, it's odd for us, but in their world, that's just normal. It's literally a don't worry about it situation. How, how, wait a minute, he's a dog. Why the hell can he ride a chocobo and, like, have to get up on his... Well, maybe we don't make it that serious. <laughs> What happens if Red 13's tail gets extinguished? <laughs> Is it going to die? Who on the Super Smash Brothers roster did Cloud get along with the best? Mario. <laughs> Who do you think? This poor guy. It's like, what the hell is this question? Avoid him the most. Donkey Kong. How many times did he tell Mario that he was in Soldier? Nanakai. Did Sephiroth get along with anybody on Smash Brothers? Sephiroth was, of course, Cloud and Cloud. 
What's the wilder crossover? Super Smash Brothers or Kingdom Hearts? What's the best summon? Now it's just Smash Brothers because Smash Brothers has Kingdom Hearts. Summon in Final Fantasy history. It always comes back to Smash. What's the best Sid in Final Fantasy history? Have you ever bought flowers from someone on the street? <laughs> Do you guys have any black materia around here? If you could have any materia to use in your daily life, what would you choose? Why? Why? うん、やっぱ、あの、私いろんな人と関わるんで、あの、いろんな人のあの、いい点、あの、いろんな、いろんな情報を知れるのは、あの、魅力的です。インタビューも来てうまく答えれます。So you trying to find out my HP? まあ、yes。その通りです。ass、ass、ass。いやいや、あの、ものすごいHPが高くて、これはなかなか手強いなって思ってます。If you could speak to the planet, what would you say? <laughs> ah, we've got too many deviated questions for so long now. We need we need some of the the, the meat and bones questions now. Okay, it's <laughs> going into some weird tangent shit for so long, and like it has to be like four goofy questions, one interesting question. What is your promised land? ゲームクリエイターなんで、あの、やっぱりこう皆さんの記憶に残るような作品を作れる未来にを目指、目指したいというか、そこが目指す地ですかね。What's <笑> Favorite diaper what other Final brand. Fantasy game was the biggest inspiration for the remake series? How much product does Cloud use in his hair? Which Final Fantasy character has the best hair? Was Lightning in Final Fantasy XIII inspired by Cloud from Final Fantasy VII? Does Cloud realize that his last name is kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy? Cloud Strife is like the ultimate fucking cheese ball. Edgewad 90s name for a character, right? Tifa Lockhart. Uh, Aerith Gainsborough is an interesting one, but like, yeah, Edge Maverick. It's the most like cheeseball self aware shit. It's so funny. Uh, Sid Highwind. Yeah, there's a lot of them, dude. There's there's a lot of them in FF7. Zach Fair is kind of an interesting one, at least. Squallian Heart. <laughs> All right, let's be honest. Who is the coolest Final Fantasy protagonist? Setsa. What's the deal with Final Fantasy characters always losing their memories? Storytelling. It's easy. Which character is the most different between Final Fantasy VII Original and Final Fantasy VII Remake series? If all the Final Fantasy villains fought each other, who would come out on top? That's definitely going to go to that uh, that one dude with the blue hair in FF10. Damn, I forgot his name. Um, he had such a shitty name too. What was his name? Seymour. <laughs> his name was. I forgot his name. Seymour is the most. There is definitely a GameFAQs thread or a Discord server dedicated to Seymour. That's what's amazing about Planet Earth, right? There is a, uh, there is somebody that has a room, like a room, completely full of FF10 Seymour memorabilia in some way. Full to the brim has every single Seymour theme that has ever existed. Absolutely. 
Do we get to play as Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? So, this is playable. The so, so, the game. Have you heard stories about Final Fantasy VII originally being developed for Nintendo 64? <laughs> okay, well, even that aside, how many cartridges do you think it would take? <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking sick, dude. You get like this huge box that has like six cartridges in it? <laughs> Hell yeah, I got my FF7 box. It's like a box of chocolate. To fit Final Fantasy VII's original game on the N64. 64 cartridges. Do you think mainline Final Fantasy games will ever return to Nintendo consoles? Maybe Nintendo will make some actual real fucking hardware. Does Barrett have a difficult time getting through security at the airport? Gun Armin. the remake series, what was the biggest change the team wanted to make? Wait, go back to me here, that one. Coming into the remake series, what was the biggest change the team wanted to make? Yeah. I mean, arguably, Re Rebirth is like the best combination of action and RPG elements maybe ever. It's really fucking good, dude. In terms of like, for it being still a really hardcore RPG, if you consider games like Souls games, you know, RPGs, they 100% are. Even Monster Hunter World is technically considered like an RPG, but there are differences here, right? Like, the, I, I feel like, I don't know, I'd have to like really have an introspection in how different games like Souls games are from JRPGs, because FF7 Remake is 100% like a JRPG, but there's, there's definitely like differences there, you know? What about FF16? FF16 is pretty much an action game, to be honest. There is almost no RPG in happening. RPG like stat management, all that kind of stuff. There's almost none of that happening in FF16. It's an action game. It's a really fun action game, but it's like when that game focuses on the, the RPG stat management stuff, it's actually not great. Rebirth more open than Remake? Is Rebirth's map bigger than Remake's? Are the side quests better in Rebirth? Yes, that's a good. He's just like yes. So, uh, uh, to also to also highlight this topic, good question. Um, uh, Hamaguchi, son, is the director, right? And he, there was a quote from him about like how should we do side quests in this game because it was it was a thing we got a lot of criticism of in the previous game. So, uh, you know what he said to the dev team? He's like, well, I've played this game called The Witcher 3. We should just make the side quests like that. <laughs> like, that was an interview at some point. He just said, let's just make the side quests like Witcher 3. They're really good in that game. All right. <laughs> so hopefully they're good, right? I mean, hopefully they're even like everyone says Witcher 3 side quests are just like the, the, the bee's knees when it comes to shit. I don't know what makes them specifically great. And I'm kind of looking forward to the fact that, you know, I don't know that going into Rebirth. So how are the side quests going to engage me? If people are like, this is just Witcher 3 shit, that's not a bad thing, <laughs> you know? Why such a focus on side content this time around? Yeah, they've been saying that like crazy. They're like, you know, core game story can be anywhere between like, like if you if you go through it fast, like 40 hours, potentially less, which is kind of like, like even the length of old FF7, you know, um, but they're like, well, but if you actually like do all of our side content and sort of like exhaust the game, this is they're like, it's 100 hours. There's a lot. Yeah, 40 hour main, 60 hour side content, and that isn't, that isn't actually doing everything. And they said, like, if you do everything, it's potential like 100 hours. It's probably less than that, to be honest. It's probably much less. They're probably overestimating. P you, you people, a lot of people here like, big number, better. Uh, it's not, a, that's not a, always good, right? If it's, if it's got that much, like, side content, sometimes that's a bit too much deviating the player from your, your main narrative, you know? Padding exists, exactly. What does Biggs and Wedge still being alive mean for the story? Nice of you to say that. 
こう絡み合う,こう展開になってるので、まあ、そ,うそういった意味でも。I, I did, I love it! I love it! I love it that there's mystery! Right? There's some fucking. There's a small level of mystery! We don't know fucking everything! There isn't, there isn't a YouTube video breaking everything down that has boiled this shit to a science that got. Uh, that, that got like somehow like data hacked into a beta version of the game. So here's everything it cooperates. It's like, we actually don't fucking know. <laughs> Sorry, I like that. I'm actually in a position where I'm, 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 I'm still happy that we have all these theories and I'm, I'm just like anxious that they're all wrong, <laughs> you know? Oh shit, we're all fucking wrong, sick. Did Jesse make it out of Final Fantasy VII Remake alive? Would you ever go to a. No, no, she died. <laughs> she died in, 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 in FF7 Remake. She's dead. A restaurant called Sector 7? Yes. Just be careful ordering anything that comes on a plate. <laughs> But I assume you would go to a bar called Seventh Heaven. Have you ever seen the show Seventh Heaven? Have you ever considered putting a secret pinball elevator in the office? <laughs> Do you have a favorite arcade machine? No, that's weak! That's weak! What's cool? Come on! He needs to be like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Cooler, riding a motorcycle or snowboarding? Does Final Fantasy VII Rebirth have snowboarding? Is Gold Saucer in Rebirth? Can you play the mini games? What's the best mini game in Rebirth? So, if anybody that doesn't know,、uh, what is it called? Queen's Gambit? What, what is, is that what it's called in The Witcher? What, what is it called in FF7 Rebirth? Not Gwent. Uh, is not what Queen's Gambit's the name of the show. It's Queen's Blood. That's what it is. Um, this is, is this is not an original FF7 at all. Uh, FF7 OG does not have a card game or like a tradable card game. Um, arguably, the, the first time we see this, I think, in the Final Fantasy series is in Final Fantasy VIII, where a lot of NPCs around the world play this game called, was it called Triple Triad in FF8? I think it was. Um, and to be honest, Is probably the thing I remember liking the most in that game. To, to be real, right? Because of the weird combat and, and the sort of freaky characters and the take it or leave it sort of high school kid story.、Uh, I, I remember the entire time really enjoying Triple Triad and collecting all the cards. So, I mean, if they can create something that is at least as interesting as like Triple Triad in some way, then that's cool, right? Which mini game from the original Final Fantasy VII received the biggest change for Rebirth? That's sick. Dude, yeah, I think people might have like glossy memories of Chocobos in FF7, but I think we all forgot that in order to even like barely compete at the Chocobo、uh, racing shit in FF7 OG, guess what you had to do with your controller? You had to mash every single one of the, you had to hold all of these fucking buttons down in order to even like have a chance. And what did this do? It prevented your stamina from like going down rapidly when you, when you were,、uh, when you were like doing the boost. So you had to like hold these fucking buttons down in order for it to work. Was it just R1 and R2? I think I did all of them just in case. So you had to cheat. There was like a legit cheat in there. That, that like helped you get through this, that the game did not tell you was there. It was goofy, dude. Is the CPR minigame still in Rebirth? Oh man, that's a spoiler. Shit. Shit. It's bound to happen. That is a spoiler. But it's bound to happen. It's okay. It's okay. Does your save data from Remake transfer into Rebirth? Yeah, so this was, a, this was a big point of contention that's kind of hard to explain to people because you do get bonuses. Like, you do get some stuff for having、um, save data、uh, from the previous game or completion data, you know?、Uh, but for the sake of like 
all three of these games are going to be very different games, like completely different mechanical games, completely different, like, uh, uh, objective games, like things will not be the same, you know, like you get summon materia and stuff like that. Right. <clears throat> so the part there's, there's a reason why it's not called part one, part two. It's a, it's a continuation of the story. Uh, they're, they're not numbered specifically. So with, with that, I can kind of see why. And this was something we were predicting early on. People are like, oh, is it going to be like those dot hat games on PS2 where everything carries over? That is so insanely weird because you would have to like do all this ridiculous like level scaling and shit at when, when you leave uh, Midgar, right? There would always be some ridiculous shit you'll have to figure out of just like, you could spend a lot of time figuring that out or you can make part two bigger right and then you're also technically alienating new players in some way like like oh yeah you're missing out on all this by not playing the previous one to be completely honest dude like there might be reasons why some people will not need to play remake part one they're, they're the story of this game is almost self-contained in a way that might just be able to move forward by just playing this game and maybe you go back and play the first one after this or something right so i think that's shit to consider, right? You have, you have to be much more inclusive now. Just how safe can Sephiroth get? Yo, Dogon, thanks for the five gift subs, dude. I think a certain party member might disagree. Party member? Aerith. Ah, so you Yes. Which mainline Final Fantasy game has the best combat system? Final Fantasy VII Remake battle system do you have a favorite fake rumor about the original Final Fantasy VII? If you could change your name to any Final Fantasy characters, what would you choose? Nanaki. Were you aware that Genova Chen from that game company changed his name to Genova because of Final Fantasy VII? Would you ever remake Advent Children? <laughs> Maybe not as a movie. Were you aware that the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta, used Final Fantasy VII Advent Children as her pitch for the movie? <laughs> Name an emotion. <laughs> Name a random object. Mouse. Give me a descriptive word. <laughs> Name a Square Enix franchise. <laughs> What's the strangest <laughs> What the fuck is happening? Game title Square Enix has ever come up with. Racing Dragon. Can you think of a game name that was rejected? <laughs> what if we just made up our own title? <laughs> yeah, I actually we, we already did it actually. How does Chrono Trigger Beautiful Passionate Mouse? <laughs> What is the third game in the remake series called? But if I guess it, you'll tell me, right? <laughs> Reimagine? Re Not good. Framed? No. Yeah. Just already tell you, no. <laughs> Not marketable. Reloaded? No. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII <laughs> Reloaded. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes <laughs> reloaded that's a good one i like it it made me laugh <laughs> <laughs> returns <laughs> yeah that doesn't sound right returns is too acclimated with like a, a, a follow-up like the batman returns right with like number two cloud returns Aerith <laughs> <laughs> returns <laughs> lightning returns <laughs> So not record keeper. <laughs> Revengeance? <laughs> What's the deal with guns in Final Fantasy? Sometimes they kill someone, other times they just take down a little bit of HP. They kill people when it is important to the story. P. What was the biggest point of debate within the team when making Final Fantasy VII Remake? I suppose we debated how how in depth they would want to go into depicting and illustrating certain moments. Yeah, how much effort do we put into this? Like the Hell House is the perfect example of that, right? 
uh, that you could have easily just had the Hell House fight just be something on the way to Wall Market, you know? It's just, oh, it's a big house. That's weird. Beat it up. But instead, they like, yeah, they, they turn it into Yakuza. And I, again, I use, uh, I, as soon as I played FF7 for the first time remake, I was like, oh, this isn't, this isn't what I thought it was. It's a Yakuza game. And I, and then it, you realize, oh, that's crazy fucking smart because we're just stuck in like, in a sort of like smaller area of the game, like a town with like other like divergent towns around it. And we're just sort of like running down, you know, alleyways and hallways and shit. It's just Yakuza, dude. So, and going into buildings, like, it's, and it's just fucking Yakuza. So what they, they didn't just by, by game design, you know, uh, take that. They took also the fanatical elements of Yakuza too. It was pretty smart because obviously you're limited to Midgar. You only have this area. So now it's like, oh, okay. So we're going to have crazy character interactions, right? Really goofy mini games, uh, weirdly self-aware and referential stuff throughout the game. The sauce, you know, like it, all oh, this is just a, like, as soon as I did that, I was like, this is just a Yakuza mission, dude. <laughs> like, holy shit. I feel like I'm just looking at Yakuza dialogue. I think Rebirth is a bit similar to, um, like just in general, uh, world-wise, maybe like something on the scale of a Horizon game? Because he has also said in an in interview before that he loves Horizon and he loves its world, right? A mixture between the Horizon and like Witcher 3, you know, possibly. No, the sauce. Was there an idea for Remake that was scrapped because it strayed too far from the original? I'd imagine yes. How do you pronounce this character's name? What was up with their cameo in Remake? What's the best RPG series outside of Final Fantasy? Well, there you go. Why did Final Fantasy VI resonate with you so much? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'm gonna make a wild assumption that uh, Hamaguchi is probably the same age as me, right? And it's in a very similar time frame where they likely played Final Fantasy VII or like their first Final Fantasy when they were um, something close to being like a teenager or some shit, right? So if if that is the case, then yeah, like a lot of these games have significant like impacts because your teenage years leave you with some of the most like impressionable moments of your whole life. Is that one still your favorite? Mm, Do you think that most people's favorite Final Fantasy game is the one that got them into the series in the first place? Yeah, I think we just said that. What is the biggest improvement from Remake to Rebirth? How do you think people are going to react to that scene? You know the one. I don't want to know. Not reading that. I don't know, but this final question is going to be Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> I skipped it. I skipped it. I don't want to know. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're upset, right? If people are watching this in video format sometime in the future, I'm sure you're upset. Um, but it's weird that the video just cut off there, right? It's weird that it just got, like, skipped at some point. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Not a ton of stuff that is obviously, like, super spoilery. Some things that were like, ah, I don't know if I needed to know that. That would have been nice that it's a surprise. The only comfort I kind of have is that for what they're willing to promote and market and demo of FF7 Rebirth, which to be real, seems like a lot. You also have to consider they are not showing off all of the other stuff, specifically hiding all of these other things and these other elements and these other aspects of the game that we haven't even seen yet. Why am I kind of okay with how they're marketing this outside of the obvious, you know, um, absolute crazy launch trailer, which I'm probably not gonna watch. I'm kind of okay with that because FF7 Remake Part 1 was the same way, where I felt like, dude, we've seen so much of this game, bro. Like, oof, 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 oof. we just know everything about it. Like, come on. 
what, what the heck's going on? And then you play it and there was like so much more. It was like, holy shit, dude, the Hell House moment, you know, the way Wall Market was handled, like all of that stuff was just so insanely cool. Cloud in a fucking dress. There was just so, so much stuff that wasn't completely disclosed, like 1000% disclosed in the uh, previous, you know, in, in the previous marketing. Rebirth's a bigger game. It's just a significantly bigger game.